Welcome everyone. So we are starting with a new series of uh, marketing analytics, the importance of marketing analytics introduction and uh, why uh, these organizations are nowadays using marketing analytics so much and uh, with the AI what kind of advancements have come up and how it has changed the scenario. Now uh, as I told you that uh, we are going to talk about the lot many aspects of uh, marketing analytics where each click view and the engagement holds the key to unlocking the powerful insights on the marketing in the marketing area fine now uh, coming to the definition of marketing analytics marketing analytics involved you know here what you need to see few words fine so few words just focus on these few words marketing analytics involve the practice of measuring managing and analyzing so my uh, you know agenda is you should focus on these three aspects once you understand these three aspects you will understand any kind of analytics so you can apply analytics in risk financial you talk about social media any anything so only three things you have to focus upon one is the how you uh, you are going to measure it that means measurement strategies we are going to talk about how we are going to manage it and then we are going to talk about how to analyzing all these things now what we are doing actually we are checking the marketing performance to maximize the effectiveness and optimize the roi so uh, you know you need to understand that why any type of analytics is being done we are doing any kind of analytics to increase the efficiency and effectiveness of our organization as well as our decision making okay so previously what was happening everything you were doing was on based on the gut feeling or maybe we can say our previous experience they do matter now as well only thing which has changed that now we are talking in the uh, num uh, you know in the uh, numbers format or facts or we have uh, something in our hand which we can measure it we can analyze it and based on that we are making our decisions now just uh, to make it very easy concept for you people uh, i am giving you one analogy if you see that uh, what uh, kind of analytics we are doing and what are the various steps that we are performing over here so imagine you have a garden where you grow different type of plants now your goal is to have a flourishing garden with beautiful flowers healthy vegetables and vibrant fruits so here this analogy relates to marketing analytics one is you know uh, what you are doing when you are doing a plant selection so actually what you are doing in terms of marketing you are doing market segmentation so uh, a particular segment of a market that is their audience that is based on your demographics behavior and preferences that is similar to selecting plants based on soil type sunlight and climate suitability fine second step if you see that you are doing a soil preparation that means you are doing a data collection so how marketers are going to collect the data there are various ways by which marketers can collect the data that is through customer surveys website analytics and social media metrics to understand their audience and the market condition which is again similar to uh, preparing your soil by testing different ph levels and ensuring there is a proper drainage system now if we see the third step that is campaign implementation which is known as planting now marketers strategically implement campaigns across various channels timings and targeting each one to maximize impact similar to planting plants strategically considering factors like spacing and companion plant planting now watering and feeding that is monitoring and optimization marketers monitor campaign performance in real time adjusting budgets targeting and messaging as needed to ensure optimal results which is again similar to watering and fertilizing plants regularly to aid the growth then if you see that is risk management that means weeding and pest control so marketers address challenges such as competitive threats negative reviews and market fluctuation that could impact their campaign which is again similar to removing weeds and uh, protecting plants from pest and disease to maintain a healthy garden 
then comes the ROI. ROI stands for the return on uh, you know investment. Now, how you are actually getting your evaluation and you are doing a harvesting kind of a thing. So marketers evaluate their ROI campaigns by analyzing the key metrics. Here we are going to talk about KPIs and uh, in uh, few, uh, you know further uh, our uh, uh, these lectures I am going to talk about different type of KPIs and how to calculate them as well. So for now I am just focusing that there are various key metrics or KPIs such as sales revenue, customer acquisition cost, customer lifetime value to determine the success and the areas for improvement which are again similar to harvesting the fruits of their labor when plants reach the maturity. Now uh, I am very sure that uh, you are uh, you know are well aware of the steps which we are using uh, to understand the marketing analytics. So what are the various steps and how marketers are actually getting the benefit out of it. Now uh, focusing upon up another uh, you know important concept which is importance of marketing analytics. Why you know this question is very very important that why nowadays uh, people are focusing on the uh, analytics. So uh, as I told you there are uh, you know various uh, you know parameters by which we can check uh, the importance of this thing. First is of course informed decision making. So word here is informed. That means we are not going with any kind of a gut feeling. We know what we are doing. So we are actually informed that uh, you know this kind of decisions we are making and the, what will be the outcomes. So marketing analytics provide data driven. So any kind of insights that you are actually getting is data driven and that enable businesses to make any kind of informed decision. So companies who are already you know very successful and uh, they have already implemented these are the various companies Netflix, Coca-Cola, Procter Gamble. If you see all these companies you know most of the companies have already started applying this analytics and that is why this concept has uh, gained a lot of popularity. Second important thing is understanding the customer behavior. So analyzing customer data, helping businesses understand consumer preferences and their behavior. Example, companies Amazon, Starbucks, Airbnb, then targeted marketing campaign. So marketing analytics allow for highly targeted campaign tailored to specific audience segment. So, you know, marketing segment you have already written, but if you want to tailor your program for a particular segment, that is also possible. Then another thing is optimizing the marketing ROI that is businesses can measure the effectiveness of their marketing efforts and optimize spending for the better return on investment. So now once you have measured the effectiveness automatically you know where you need to put your more efforts then of course real time monitoring adjustment for optimal performance so you can adjust your campaigns according to your need and you can real time monitor all these things. Then of course it is a competitive advantage. So leveraging this marketing analytics can be a competitive advantage to stay ahead in the competition and the market trends. And then of course uh, enhanced customer experience so you know you need to understand the customer preference so if once you know your customer better you know what is their experience you can personalize it you can have a strong bond with them and of course ultimately it will lead toward the customer loyalty then product development insights you know that uh, what uh, what kind of needs and preferences of your customer accordingly you can change your product Risk mitigation that means you can easily identify the risk early through data analysis which allow businesses to proactively mitigate any kind of threats. Then comes the continuous improvement marketing analytics foster a culture of continuous improvement by iterating and refining marketing strategies. Now uh, just for the sake you know what are the various companies they have already applied such kind of strategies and what kind of benefits they are getting out of. Now where does this marketing data come from? So to track the progress toward goals, uh, to gain the customer insight and to make a strategic decision. We know that we need to collect the data, we need to summarize or aggregate it and we need to organize it. So three uh, types of primary data or the customer data from where we are getting is known as first party data, second party data and the third party data. 
first party data which is directly coming from the users uh, by your organization most valuable kind of uh, data because it provides you with the insights on how your audience is actually going to behave think and feel now there is another one which is uh, you know second uh, party data that is shared by another organization about its customer uh, second party data can be beneficial if your audience segment aligns or if you have a strategic partnership then comes the third party data which is gathered and sold by organization unrelated to your company or users while it offers insight into a similar user group it is less reliable since it does not come directly from your customers or trusted partners so now uh, second and third source exist first party is the most reliable because it come directly from your customer and it reflects the behavior beliefs and the feeling of your customers now uh, this is uh, your uh, you know uh, diagram where you can see that uh, you know marketing analytics customer information is coming customer behavior financial data customer feedback marketing research campaign performance there are two type of data structured unstructured internal external qualitative and quantitative now these are the various uh, you know uh, benefits which we are getting for how we are getting so this whole uh, you know uh, screenshot is actually a basic summary how this marketing analytics is going to help you now moving ahead uh, various sources of first party data one is website analytics that is you are data collecting from your website visitors page views session durations and behavior flow then comes the customer relationship management system that is information obtained from customer interactions such as purchases inquiries and support tickets email marketing platform metrics from email campaigns such as open rate ctr and conversion rate then you have social media inside that means uh, from various social media platform which include engagement matrix audience demographic and content performance purchase history detail of past transaction product preferences and buying patterns stored in internal databases then you have a second uh, party data that is partner website data shared by trusted partner through collaboration or data sharing agreements such as customer demographics or browsing behavior and then you can also go with the co-branded survey where you are going to gather the insight using a joint survey or research initiative conducted with partner uh, companies to get a deeper understanding of shared audience then comes the loyalty program that is information exchange with the partner organization through loyalty programs or co-branded credit cards providing access to customer spending habits and the preferences third party data that is data aggregators that are compiled by third party data providers that offer demographic behavioral and psychographic information about the consumer from various sources then uh, there are also various companies who are providing marketing research reports industry reports about their trends preferences and competitive analysis then we have data brokers also that collect aggregate and sell the customer data obtained from the public records surveys online activities geo spatial data nowadays very very common very uh, popular one also that actually provide you with the information about consumer location uh, population density traffic patterns and demographic source from mapping service and geographic databases now this is uh, you know some third party sources for our marketing analytics data so nielsen this is a leading global information and measurement company which provides you data on consumer behavior media consumption and advertising effectiveness comscore is another company that provide data on digital media consumption behavior uh, web traffic video viewing and mobile usage kanta it is a research and consulting company that provide data on consumer behavior market trends foster research is also providing you with the data on uh, because this is a advisory and research form so similar kind of a data about the customer experience marketing technology digital transformation garner of course garner very popular one research and advisory form that provide data on technology trends